Hello everyone, this is the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com and welcome to the channel and please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button if you like the content and do hit that thumb button if you like the content in today's video it's going to be about Lightroom and the watermarks and how to apply watermarks to Lightroom but first please do make sure that you follow all the social media links down in the description below then support the channel by hitting the PayPal donation button if this video has helped you along the way but without further ado let's apply a watermark and show you how to do it first of all I'm in Photoshop now I have done complete my watermark and for this video and I am going to show you how to actually to save it now as you can see here I am using a transparent background so make sure that you are using a transparent background when you are creating a watermark the watermarks are very important so you want it to be translucent in your images or your image tree so when I save it I save it as an import once I'm done saving it as an import I save it at a scale of 100% which is enough and I save it as a PNG file and make sure that you save it to a location where you're familiar with or create a folder beforehand so once you're done saving and exporting it out the next step is Lightroom now with Lightroom you are able to actually export that PNG file to Lightroom I'm gonna show you how to do it first of all this is gonna be our subject for today's video and it's small seasons so go to add light rooms and add now here you have the option now you got text graphics choose your PNG or peg peg jack uh, file and then you have your other settings here which I'm going to show you how to work them with your watermark now it's based on taste guys so keep this with a grain of salt so we're gonna to go to graphics and already we are going to select where I have saved that PNG file which is my watermark to it and I'm gonna save it click it choose it now you can see here it's in the corner you can't really see it but if I was to scale this largely enough so you can see it you can see that it's in the corner now I do like the size I do like it so but one thing I don't want is to be 100% transparent so I like it to be like 50% kind of like hidden but very shallow detail -like. now you have a choice the choices are you can have it on your bottom left corner you can have it in the center left you can have it on the top left you can have it in the center top you can have it in the center or you can have it on the bottom center or the bottom right or center right or top right but it's based on you so what I'm gonna do is actually add it to my right and you can make adjustments based on your taste as I said guys this is based on your taste so take this with a grain of salt this is just a preview how to actually import the watermarks to Lightroom and once you are done and once you're finished doing salt this is where you can save it by making a name for it now this is a new preset so test one one we call it one one because I had did this video three times create and once you're done and you want to test this feature now I'm also going to show you how to actually safely secure your photos when you want to post them online now I do save them high res and low res I would say 90% of the time I'm uploading low res files so my files won't get stolen but people like to wash out watermarks from your low res but that's okay because if they try to print them out it becomes pixelated and now I'm going to show you how and why it comes out pixelated when people steal your work so I'm going to export it I'm going to choose the folder where I want to export this image to and I'm going to name it test one is online okay and now this is how and this is why you should do this little method now I have this on my website at 646studios.com so please take this very strong date and I do recommend doing this so I have my at long edge at 1000 pixels at 72 inches per inch this is going to help when people steal your work from your website or from your portfolio and 
they make a website and claim it's their work and when someone asks them to actually print that photo out when they print it out it comes out pixelated so this is a low res file so keep that in mind when I do high res files I uncheck it but I never sold I never upload high res unless I do the digital watermark and I do have another method of a digital water a digital watermark that attracts all my images and it tells me where all my images are going but back to the watermark now we're gonna click the box watermark and we're gonna select test 11 as the watermark now we're gonna export it and once it's done exporting as a low res JPEG you're gonna go into the folder where I saved it. We're going into my uh, picture folder. Okay, where did I was? Oh, test. There we are, and there it is. Test one. And look, you have it right there on the bottom corner. There's a watermark. So. That's how you import watermarks to Lightroom, and this is how you implement them into your image. So, if this has helped you along the way, as I said before, guys, please don't feel afraid to follow the Panda Photographer, which is me, at 646studios.com, which is my my professional website of all my pictures of portraits, landscapes, time lapses, and much more. But also got tutorials on videography and photography and the gear that I use. But with that said. Eat, sleep, photography, and repeat, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and happy shooting.